Do you have that one friendship that you're like, I can't tell if this is a terrible and toxic friendship or if it's just all in my head? Well, then this video is for you because I have been through that exact same mentality one too many times. I feel like my radar now for a terrible friend is pretty crazy like i'm able to read and spot one a mile away so i'm going to share the red flags that you need to be looking out for when it comes to a bad friend i think one of my first red flags are gossipers now we all love a little bit of gossip a little bit of tea you know tea time with your friends but when you meet someone who is constantly constantly talking bad about other people and worse talking bad about their own friends to you that is a huge red flag because chances are that means that they are definitely doing the same about you they're going around telling everyone everything you share all the bad stuff probably not the good stuff anything you say in confidence will be brought up again to their other friends trust me i used to think gossiping and tea and cheese mayo was just fun but it's not because trust me if they are talking bad about their friends to you and they are definitely talking bad about you as well the next red flag is one that i think is way less obvious these are the people that i love to call energy vampires if you have a friend that after you hang out with them you feel like they have sucked literally every ounce of any energy you had in you and you feel like they're always talking so negatively you just cannot hang out with them without feeling sucked like out of your life that is an energy vampire i had a friend just like that where i honestly didn't even want to hang out with them because i knew that once we'd be done hanging out i would feel so drained and just like my energy would be completely gone and honestly i think worse than sucking your energy this person can just like completely turn your positive vibrant energy into something just way more negative and dark you need to protect your energy you need to protect your whole vibe and that person is obviously not good for you very similarly the next red flag are people who always take 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 but never give these are people who are always always taking something from you and never ever giving you something in return now this can mean something both like literally physically or just emotionally and mentally if you're someone who's a gift giver and you're always giving someone presents you're always paying for their food always paying for their coffee when you go out with them they never do the same in return or worse they venmo request you knowing that you're always paying for them or at least offering that's someone who's always always going to take from you and never give anything in return that can also be mentally and emotionally every time you hang out with this person they just bombard you with every single detail about their lives they tell you everything that they did that week that month they tell you everything about their relationship everything that's going on with them but they never ask you about your life you have absolutely no idea what is going on with your life and they do not care they just do not care if you feel like you have a friend like that they are definitely just taking and taking taking your attention your time and they are never going to give you the same in return i feel like it's worse if you try and talk about yourself when you guys are hanging out and they interrupt you or they make it about themselves somehow because that just proves they do not care about what you're doing they just want you for the attention they want you to listen that is a taker not a giver similarly the next red flag is someone who is only there when they need something i know that one is kind of obvious like everyone has met someone like that in their life but this person really really takes it a step further if you feel like every time you hang out it just leads up to some sort of favor or even if it just feels like you're just there to listen about their problems or listen about their life or a current relationship or somebody that they met or whatever that person is definitely using you and only wants to hang out with you when they need something i feel like this is also really connected to another red flag and that is that your friend will only hang out with you when they're not in a relationship the minute they get into a relationship they just ghost you now i am a relationship girl and i feel like i have been guilty of this myself i'm not a perfect friend i know where my flaws are at and i feel like this is one of my flaws i am a girl's girl i will never put a man over my friend but i have been guilty of being excited about a new relationship and just not being the best friend i could be once like something like that sparks and honestly i feel like that is forgivable like people get excited like it's okay i feel like you need to give people a chance to be kind of like in their honeymoon phase but that is not what i am talking about i'm talking about a friend that completely ghosts you stops hanging out with you 
as soon as they get into a new relationship. This so-called friend will only hang out with you when they're not in a relationship, when they're not excited about somebody else. And I think the worst part is if they do hang out with you, it is to discuss their relationship or discuss the problems in their relationship. This is them telling you that the minute they get a chance to prioritize another person, they will. They will. They will never prioritize you ever. Now, I think this one is probably the biggest red flag, but in my opinion, the hardest one to spot. And that is the person who is always, always in quiet competition with you. That means that this person is always, always thinking of themselves as less than you, whether they want to admit it or not. They are threatened by you. They're threatened by your success. They're threatened by your ambition. They're threatened by who you are. And they will never, ever truly be happy for you. All they can do is either try and be above you by pushing you down or just be exactly like you and copy you. I'm gonna tell you how how you can spot this person. If you have a friend that never ever congratulates you, no matter how big the success, no matter what you've done, graduated from college, you graduated from high school, you, you got engaged, it's your birthday, whatever it is, they can never seem to congratulate you. That is a red flag. Now, I had someone like that in my life and I made excuses for them all the time. Well, maybe they forgot. Maybe they don't know how big of a deal it is to me or Maybe to them, this is not that big of a deal. I don't know. I always made an excuse. And one day I woke up and I realized that if they were in my shoes, I would congratulate them. It doesn't even have to be a congratulations type of situation if this person never even compliments you. They can never say you look nice. They can never say they like your apartment. They can never say they like your car. They can never say anything nice about you. That is a red flag. I think the worst way to know that somebody is in quiet competition with you is that they are threatened by you. So they will put you down any chance that they get. If you have a friend that acts different in front of other people and by acting Acting different, I mean they put you down, they make weird jokes about you, they try to bring up personal things, or they try to embarrass you. And you can tell, you know that feeling. I'm telling you, you need to run. Again, I had a friend just like that as well. Anytime we were in front of guys, it was always so weird because it was like a switch. Like it was an automatic switch where I could tell they were trying to embarrass me or just bring up things that didn't need to be brought up. And this person definitely had a habit of doing this in front of guys, even in front of guys that I like, which I feel like defies every law of girl code. I'm telling you, if you have that friend that you just know acts funny in front of other guys and worse beyond acting funny, they try to embarrass you or humiliate you, then you need to run because that person is threatened by you. They are in secret competition with you and they definitely get some weird satisfaction satisfaction by putting you down or at least trying to put you down and then you have your last and final red flag this is what i call the final stage the final boss you have the manipulator now this friend of yours either has some of the red flags that i pointed out if not all or they have just blatantly disrespected you disrespected your friendship has not been loyal to you has done you dirty like whatever it is whatever you're thinking of that made you feel less than made you feel just terrible and then you try to call them out, you try to confront them, maybe you try to just have a chat with them and they manipulated you. They turned the entire situation around to make it seem like they're just innocent, they're the victims, they had no idea or it was an accident or whatever it is. They never take accountability and guess what? They will never, ever take accountability. They will never, ever give you an actual, genuine apology because they don't think they did anything wrong. But instead, they'll give you some BS apology that sounds so dramatic and extreme that you have no other choice but to forgive them. They don't even let you express how you feel before they start going, oh my God, I am so sorry. I'm the worst friend in the world. I don't deserve a friendship. I don't deserve you. That is a BS apology. They are manipulating you. They're making themselves the victim you don't even get the chance to express how you feel and you have no other choice but to feel bad for this other person and forgive them and move on sorry i had no idea if you would have told me or this isn't something i knew or i didn't know you'd get so pissed off about it i didn't know this was that big of a deal to you that is not an apology either they are making you feel crazy and like your feelings are not valid and they will never validate your feeling because they will never ever ever take accountability. Okay, we're at the end of this video and if you watch this video and at any point, more than once you've found yourself going, hey, 
that sounds a lot like blank then i hate to tell you this but it sounds like you might have a bad friend now everything i say obviously take it with a grain of salt if you have a friend like this but you know that they're a good friend in your heart and in their heart then by all means continue being their friend personally i am beyond my years of tolerating a bad friend like that my energy your energy is so sacred why not be around people that uplift you that make you feel loved blessed supported i have amazing friends i love my friends to death they have shown me nothing but support and unconditional love and you can find those friendships too and you can find those friendships too but you have got to drop the dead weight now if you watched this and any of these sounded like yourself then you have got some work to do it's okay to admit that you're a bad friend but it is not okay to do absolutely nothing about it and continue to be a bad friend to people who love you anyways that was the end of my chat i hope that something in this video resonated with you thank you for watching this video i love you and i hope that you know that you deserve all the best friendships in the world. Bye!